What's up guys, this is The Rover and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to run off how we left off, we have attacked uh, Mecklen Mecklenburg Schwerin force, some variation of that, um, with an absolute crap ton of troops. And uh, yeah, as you saw from the last part, due to a snafu, one of their armies actually retreated, so this one's going to be fairly, fairly simple. So let's move in. So you've got 3AI city-state. Um, but the hope is, if Bob Crawford's army gets uh, attacked, or gets damaged in the assault, he will remain behind to replenish, and the other armies will advance eastwards. Because we still have Prussians to crush, and we also have Austrians to subjugate. Okay, so I want... So we at least want two sets of guns to get up onto this hill, and then two sets of guns to get up onto this hill. Like, well, this hill. Potentially. Very elite foot guard unit. Very accurate. 53. 53 accuracy. That's probably better than... Have got any sharpshooters? King's German Legion Lights. Yeah, they're better shooters than my King's German Legion Lights. So let's get my Highlanders out here on the right to protect the Black Watch to protect this battery. Just deploying my British Grenadiers and a unit of foot to go to the west of this artillery battery and then my marines. These are marines? Yeah, these are all my marines. Go into the centre with a foot guard, with a skirmish unit, artillery and support. Uxbridge on the left, Dragoon guards on the right, Bob Crawford in the centre. When preparing for a melee attack, it can sometimes work to your advantage to let the enemy have the Fear not, Vader. So this is a very strong flank for us. My other gun battery. So let's fill in the gap. We're probably going to allow us to come fairly close. Well, it looks like they're all, de they're all shifting their balance to the right-hand side of the map. So maybe we want to be a bit more aggressive and do something like this. In which case, then, my Highland... Whoa! No, don't retreat, Highlanders. Something more like this. So then my... Now my grenadiers are okay on the left, but suddenly this infantry seems very surplus to requirements. So I'd be inclined to bring you guys over onto this flank. At speed as well. Let's bring my dragoons back over here as well. They can just walk. Isaac's bridge. There he is. My howitzer can probably move over in this direction. Bring Bob Crawford over. They've still got some cover on the front on the flank, but I'm not bothered about that. Chevaulier. Chevalier, Chevalier. Yeah, I can I can just My Highlanders can just go into square formation without too much of a worry. Yeah, I'm having to run some of my troops over to rebalance the flanks. Particularly as they're coming right for us now. Yep, they're moving up. I might be inclined to do something like this instead. So let's get our 
marines and our light infantry to be slightly more like so. Then where's my dragoons? Oh no, they changed their minds. But I think they will change their minds again when the artillery starts dropping. My howitzer is still making its way up through the woods. It's probably a bit close to the front line there. But when these guns get ready, they will probably come at us. Limber. Like, there's not much need to put cavalry over here to defend this cavalry, not if I've got lots of... If it's just cavalry, particularly if it's going to move, and they do look rather good, actually. I like their moustaches. Um, I can just form my infantry into square. Actually, maybe don't, maybe don't be right behind the front, because you're asking to get shot off your horse, Bob. They're just redeploying in a funny line position. Unlimber those guns. Are you actually firing or are you pretending? Are you not actually. They aren't actually engaging anything. There we go. Cavalry's on the charge. Let's just bring a unit of dragoons into the mix. Let's bring Axe Bridge a bit closer up. Okay, you guys. Glorious victories, huh? Barrage and aim at the Cheval Leger. Let's move the Revolutionary Guard up. Revolutionary Guard. Bring my move my guard infantry up a little bit to get some more muskets to bear. Nope, no need to bring them into the mix. Okay. Let's advance these guys up rapidly. Because they're going to come a cropper in a natural choke point. This artillery battery go back to round shot and pummel these these chaps in the centre. Get my battery to them, my howitzers to unlimber. To be honest, I might just move my howitzers. Well, some of my Highlanders, like so. The rest of them can move in to try and secure the secure the town, especially as they're starting to move most of their forces. Just slightly rebalance my line. Yep. Let's get my infant. Let's get my cavalry out of the way a second. charge in because these guys aren't being targeted by my line infantry these guys are they're being shot to bits yep they're going to get some shots off against my cavalry but Axbridge won't be having any of it ok 
actually let's move up. As they're completely withdrawing, let's just we may as well just advance up. Now my cavalry continue the drive. Unlimber these guns. So move in, secure the town. Fire well off for these guys for just a moment. Now my cavalry pursue them for a while. Then perform the recall. Do what they could not achieve at the Battle of Waterloo. Okay, so this is why cavalry alone will not be much use to do many things. Because these guys are going to be screwed. And they can't help it. They're being drawn to the drawn to the sound of battle. So you've broken one of their cavalry units. So their forces are reorganizing. Let's bring my grenadiers down. My Highlanders across, some of them at least. Form them into square. Get these guys out of square, bring them into the town. Let's get you out of square, put you properly up here. And they come, they're cresting the hill. Let's get our cavalry to go down the flank. Someone's hitting something with a stupid hammer. Whoop, these guys aren't on fire at will, but they will now. This unit's about to get utterly destroyed. Yep, depends what... <laughs> Commit my Highlanders in to engage the artillery, because my square formation here is sucking up all of the support. Storm up and take the hill. The islanders will form up and keep the gap secure. You guys charge up to the ridge. Can't exactly do that over here yet. Let's get the raw marines to engage. Whoops, I've just knocked my iPad off. Or over, not off. <coughs> Caught it with my cat-like reflexes. Charge them onto this straggling loose cavalry unit. I'm just moving up to bayonet charge. My marines are probably going to do a good job. Let's run. Launch my cavalry out of the trees. Into our enemies. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. 
Let's get ready to engage in hunting combat and charge them at the top of the hill. You guys. Just run one of my units out. Thinking. Got these cavalry units getting shot to pieces. General's dead, so don't have to worry about too much about his general's stuff. Oh, Crawford's being left behind. Let's run my cavalry on. Let's get my marines back. victory come on Bob let's get you into the mix Not raw marines just charge that cavalry, charge that infantry unit Turn off all my artillery now, because it can't really do much use. Let's bring my cavalry back. It's very nice of them to get out of square formation. Chop them up, Bob. Watch out for the spikes. Fortunately, lots of their troops are retreating away from the spikes. There's one fight over here. Yeah, there's no way they were going to stand against my marines. charge on um let's end it there to be honest this army's pretty damn elite as it is good yeah lots of experience gained yeah artillery's got better Royal marines and highland foot still still really good and lots of infantry unit. oh these are all the armies that weren't involved Um, peacefully occupy. Not peacefully occupy. Uh, liberate, I mean. Okay, so you drive eastwards. You drive eastwards. The conscripts are semi useless. Let's move my army up to Berlin so then they'll replenish faster. He must move into the Berlin garrison. Was this a new army that I was building? Either way, it's fairly unnecessary. Yeah, there's not a whole lot for you to do in this port, so get into your safe haven at Courland, upgrade the jewel school, upgrade the logging camp, prepare the secret society, upgrade the roads. Let's do something like this. Because then this army can leave Courland, march on Konigsberg. So the question is, is where do I go first? Austria or Russia? To be honest, I think it's. Ooh, see, that would be. It'd be lovely to get you, but I also want you to fall back.
press now is replenishing. Import traits, because Russia's got lots of troops down here. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. And they've also got Switzerland, which is an annoying pustule. But I think it's got to be Austria. I've been working to ostracize them. So diplomacy. Break alliance with that, and I'll give you three grand. Good stuff. Let's trade with Mecklenburg. The French are still hostile, <laughs> as you can imagine. Um, so, Austria. Sicily, Naples, Greece, Russia, Prussia. So it looks like if I declare war on one of them, it may spur. It may spur Russia to declare to declare on me, which I don't necessarily want. So one of your these armies might have to hightail it to here. Well, unless I can get. Break alliance with Austria and I'll offer you the same as Sweden, three grand. Break your alliance with. Okay, hold on, maybe not this turn. I was thinking about threatening them. I could build a ragtag army through some of these garrisons, but I want to have someone nearby. Because the Papal States, did they say they were at war? They were allied with Austria? Naples and Sicily are so there's a pro potential potential route to attack some of these regions to be honest if anything then if I'm going to attack Austria I'm probably going to want to send some of these guys southeast instead of directly east against Austria Prussia sorry Yeah, you're ready to move on Stuttgart. Yeah, let's spend a few turns moving some people south, because right now we've got three, four armies engaging the Austrian, the Prussians, so not strictly necessary. Our research and tech is now so massive we don't really need to focus on it. But it looks like I might need to build a... No, I think that's still building. Yeah, Staff College. Cool, let's hit end turn. Mm, the Prussians have got a core of armies at Bucharest. I'm not going to pay you three grand. Well, that's kind of perfect. Well, semi perfect. They're moving on us. So, Sicily and Naples, they have to pick a side. And Russia. So, let's see who betrays us. Sicily, Naples, and Russia. But no one's joined Austria either. So they're on the march to... They've got to Prague, but not into Prague. Yeah, Prussia's just frantically trying to gather their troops. Saw that army go off into the woods. So we're not at war with Russia. Hmm. So the big concern now is what can what can I do to allow well how can I reinforce Prague? Because we'll get a garrison bonus and things like that, but the hope is see I hope Belgium does something so I've, made, I've carved them out a reasonable little kingdom let's see what this means ooh, ooh. we're not at war with Portugal now are we I'm 
Oh no, we're allied with Portugal. We're allied with Portugal. Historically, we were. Yeah, we are. Good. So it looks like, unless they're going to come and betray us, which I don't, I wouldn't fancy the chances. Trade gained. Okay, so. Okay, what I might do is if I can do this. I can intercept them trying to cross the river into Prague. That would be ideal. So gets Alpha Wellesley back into the mix. To Dornberg, spring like a trap. Get them under siege. So the, okay, let's move John Moore to the bridge. Because say he can replenish, he also might be able to trigger them to try and cross in a bridge assault. He's hiding. Alexander Abercrombie could go straight for Zagreb. These guys are all heading south, which is what we want. You move here to stop them, to block them from moving on to Saxony. You come down with them. Bob, come around this way. Peter Gresner. So his job is just to kind of wait, see where they're going to move. I could drive in, but to, actually I'm not going to do that. Yeah, move them, but Königsberg under siege. Just keep, just keep putting them under pressure. Warsaw would be a threat. Well, there's no point building walls, but may as well. Cause we've got loads of money. Lots of top tier buildings. Reims is upgraded to the top tier building. So that's our castle. Krumen in Courland and in Brandenburg. Just keep building line infantry, just to garrison this little fort, which which is being built. So we've broke, we lost our alliance with Russia. Trade agreement with Austria is broken. Spy network in Königsberg. Michael Stowell's path was blocked, but not anymore. A good listener. Okay, so pretty much trading with the rest of the world. Austria or well, Prussia, Russia is unfriendly, so we need to get ready for them to to turn on us. To be honest, I want to see what the Austrians do, because we've got an opportunity to catch them in a couple of decent defensive battles. Oh, they've gone south. Oh, they're going for Munich. Oh, and they're actually sailing out from um, Stuttgart. But looking at the timer, I think it's pretty much the end of this turn. Or the end of this part, sorry. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the, the death of the garrison at Stuttgart. Cheers guys.